Hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Melody Susie, Jewel Livier, Jellies, Light Blue and Gray. We've got JM01 and JM30, and that's the beautiful packaging they came in. They're so pretty. Let's get these out of the packs and show them a little love. I will have links for everything down in the description box. I would love for it if you would go check them out. I love the packaging. The bottles are so cool. They're nice size bottles too. Really love these. Alrighty. So let's break one of these open and see. Like the brush and ooh, that's such a pretty jelly. So we got the gray and then we've got this blue, the light blue. Oh, so pretty. I am loving these already. All right. I have um, got their base and top coat. I've already had these before, so um, we're just going to go in with a coat of base coat. Sorry, the camera's blurry. I'm having a little, little issues with the camera again. So nice thin coat. Make sure not to get it on your skin. Going to cap my free edge. Make sure there's nothing on your skin and cure it for 60 seconds. And then we're going to go in with the gray. I'm going to do the gray on the pointer and the pinky nail. And then the blue on the middle two nails. I've also got the blue on my thumb. It's just a little awkward showing my thumb because it's in position so great. And look at that light blue. Mmm, so pretty. Love, love, love these. Like I said, I will definitely have links down below. There's a discount code down below for you. Um, I'm not... I'm, pretty sure this is not one of the ones that I make money on. I'm just getting the products. I got the blue and the gray today and I'm sharing them here on my channel so that you can see how they work and uh, they give me a discount code for you guys. Cap that free edge on that one and then get Woody out here, clean that mess up. Anything you get on your skin, you definitely want to get it off before you cure it. But since it's gel polish, you've got plenty of time to do that. All right, gonna get Woody out here again, I'm sure. Before I put these under the lamp, cure them for 60 seconds. We're gonna go in for another coat of everything, at least two coats. We might do three, we'll see. These are jellies, they're not Krellies, they're straight up jellies. So you definitely need to remember that you're gonna see visible nail line. Don't, don't be shocked. And to be honest, I really kind of don't mind it with these. As funny as that is, I mean, you guys know I like to not have any visible nail line. But with these jellies, I didn't mind that at all. Uh, uh, funny. I don't know. Maybe my tastes are changing. But the polish itself goes on really smooth. It levels out really nicely. I didn't have to do that whole flipping my hand upside down to make it level out or anything. They just leveled out beautifully. There we go. And one more on this pink nail. Little pink nail here. I am going to do some nail art on these in just a moment. <clears throat> if you will stick with me, we will get there. If you don't want to see that part, that's fine. Going to cure that for 60 seconds. And here we go with the top coat. And this is the Melody Susie Gel Top Coat. Um, same size bottle and everything. Same same look to the packaging. I'm going to get that on there. Cap my free edge. I'm going to keep, keep continuing on until they're all done. Get this one on here. Pretty nice consistency for this too. It's not stringy or gloopy or I didn't have any issues at all with the polishes or the top and base coat. Everything just was beautiful. I mean this was, and that's one thing I do love about gel. You put it on, you cure it, you can go to bed, you can go take a shower, you can wash dishes, you can get out in the garden, it don't matter. You can do whatever you need to do because you're not going to mess it up. Hi Woody, how you doing? Good job. Alright, curing for another 60 seconds. I'm going to wipe them down with some alcohol before I do my little nail art. This is Maniology MXM132. It's from a Manny by Me box. It's just like clouds and bubbles and hearts and whatever. 
Um, it was sitting out on the desk, so that's what we're grabbing today. I'm going to clean it with some acetone after removing that plastic film off of it. And then we're going to get busy. I'll be using She Modern Neon Sapphire and then Blue Sapphire Pigment or Metallic Pearl. I'm sorry, Blue Sapphire Metallic Pearl. And then a Maniology Stamper and Scraper. And we're going to just plop these images onto the blue nails. They look kind of white on camera. But after I stamped them with this blue and did the pigments or the sprinkles, the dust, um, it definitely made the base polish even look more blue. But in this lighting, for sure, it looks very white. But it's not. It's a light blue. Put that polish on there. Give it a scrape. Pick it up. Apply that image. Line it up how you want. Clean off that stamper on a lint roller. And I'm cleaning off the stamping plate with um, just regular acetone. No conditioners or anything in it. Just straight up acetone. Give that a quick scrape. Pick it up. All right. And we have gotten success. Cleaning that little stamper off and the plate because you guys know I like to put my things away clean and then I wipe over it with some alcohol now that that is done I'm tapping in and I've already done the other nails I'm tapping in the um, powder the glitter powder pixie powder whatever you want to call it I let that sit for a little bit and then I take my little scrubby brush and I'm brushing off the excess Give that a quick brushy brush. Uh, there we go. Got to get that napkin out of here. I am trying to go in with a piece of tape. And the thing is, is like, you know, I, I make such a mess with the powders and stuff. Some of it does come off. There's some coming off. But that stamping polish, that sticky stamping polish is stuck on there really well. Um, so we're going to have to break out some acetone or nail polish remover to clean this up. But see how much more blue it looks with just the stamping done on it. I think it looks a lot more blue. So now I'm going in with my cleanup brush and some acetone and just cleaning up around my nail. Because I like to clean as I go. I don't want to, you know, leave, leave stuff hanging out there and just hope it comes off when I wash my hands. Um, some people do it that way and if that's how you do it, that's, that's fine. But I'm, I'm trying to get down to where I can take my swatch photo, you know, and get done. So, I like to do my cleanup as I go along. That way it's not too bad in the in the end. That, and I think if you get it before it's really dry, 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 then it's easier to get clean. Just about done. We're just about there. You see my nails are starting to grow out a little bit on that hand. The other hand, on the other hand, is a hot mess. It's shorties. All right. Now we're going to use the She Modern Sealer Stamping Clear Mat. And this will seal in this design without smearing. And I love this stuff. I got the big old honking bottle of it. I love it. And we're going to go over that and let this completely air dry. Oh, hi, Woody. Oh, Woody, I got a mess going on. I got a fuzz stuck and just all kinds of... Okay, good. Good save. We're there. We're all right. All right. I don't know what that was, but um, we got it up. But you're going to want to let this sealer completely dry. Like dry, dry, dry. Dry. Which doesn't take long. It really doesn't. A few minutes, maybe. And then it dries matte. And I am going over with the glossy top coat from Melody Susie. Getting Woody out here again. I'm trying to be very clean because I told you, you want to clean this up before you put it in that lamp. So we're doing the clear Melody Susie top coat on the nails that I stamped. The other ones already had top coat on them, so we're good. Um, and I am going to show this on my swatch pictures. I'm going to show it glossy like this, how I end the video, 
and then I mattified it and took a picture of it that way too, just so you could see. Capping my free edges, making sure everything is cleaned up, and we're going to cure it for 60 seconds. Here is the glossy photo, and coming up next is the mattified version. I really like it matte. I think it's very pretty. And that is it for me today. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.